Well, in thinking about this occasion for Kevin, I tried to think of one word that would describe him. Kevin Riley in one word. I would use a word such as insightful, visionary, collaborator. I think of Kevin, uh, the first word that popped into my head was limerick. And the reason why limerick came to my head, obviously he loves poetry, but he also has got a good sense of humor. Kevin Riley. I, I don't think I can comment. Calm. But Kevin is not a one-word guy, as we all know. Munificent, but never mendacious. Tolerant. Diligent. I consulted the Unabridged Dictionary and actually looked at every word in this book. Enthusiasm. Support. I got to the word integrity, and it says this, adherence to a moral and ethical principle. Valiant. Steadfast. Soundness of moral character. Honesty. Civility. And not only does he meet that definition, by golly, as you might expect, this picture is in the Unabridged Dictionary bigger than life. Because that is Kevin Riley. When I was hired, I knew about the University of Wisconsin system. I hadn't heard much about President Riley, and that's because I come from states that didn't have systems. I went around and talked to some of the professional associations in D.C. I spoke to a lot of people I know and trust. And what I heard was extremely encouraging. Kevin is known as a, a wise and thoughtful leader. An educator to the core. He's very measured and brilliant. He's viewed that way across the country. For the first time, I realized how well respected Kevin was nationally. His name came up all the time as someone who they thought was really an expert on higher education, someone who they turned to for advice, who they put on panels. They all looked at Wisconsin higher education system, our system, as the model for the country. A very transparently operated uh, institution with a real commitment to the success of its students. He has valued the unique missions of all of the campuses throughout the state. And he really reflects the values, core values of not only public higher education, but also the system itself. Everyone to a person who knew Kevin said, you're going to like working for Kevin. I have rarely seen a leader who uh, had the way to phrase things that Kevin does. Kevin came into a meeting at a particularly difficult time, walked into the meeting and started singing in Elmer Fudd dialect, the fire song from Bruce Springsteen. His performance was nothing short of outstanding. When they uh, first hired me, I was talking to Kevin and he says, these jobs are sometimes very difficult. Um, and you have days that don't go so well, and the only solution to that is gin and jogging. He knows it's hard to leave a cavalry charge if you think you look funny on a horse. He knows how to keep his gunpowder dry. He says, and when you eat crow, eat it while it's hot. Kevin exemplifies a quote from Albert Einstein uh, when he said, try not to be a person of success, but rather a person of value. And I think Kevin Riley has been and is a person of tremendous value. I think we've been really fortunate as a state and as a, a system of public higher education to have a person like Kevin. It's just, uh, you know, wonderful to watch, you know, how he handles himself uh, when under fire. Uh, that takes a lot of, a lot of courage uh, and a lot of thick skin. And when I walked away from that experience, I knew even more deeply why we are so proud to call Kevin a friend, a colleague, and our leader. Kevin uh, really is unflappable. And I think he has proven himself to be uh, not only an effective leader, but very resilient in leading the system through some uh, very challenging and turbulent times. The defining things about Kevin's leadership style is the inclusiveness that he brings to the discussions that come to the table. 
He's very collaborative. He's very diplomatic. He listens to all of us. He's supportive of what we're trying to do. He makes sure that our input is valued. Make sure that whatever decision has come to everyone around the table has had their say. The thing I most admire is that ability to uh, really get a group of uh, strong-willed people to come together in thoughtful ways on behalf of the entire UW system. And so to do that, you have to be very ethical, you have to be compassionate, and you have to be transparent. And I really think he's been able to attract all of us here because we trust him. The trust that he has in us, uh, the faith he has in us, are, are things that I enjoy about Kevin Riley. Good leaders have a compassion for people. He truly is interested in his team as individuals, and he knows that by taking a personal interest uh, that we will do our jobs in the system much better. He does that in such a powerful, effective, and engaging way. Uh, it's really quite impressive. I believe his sense of humor grounds us. Learning a leadership style from an Irish-American guy for an Italian-American guy, that, that's a little hard to admit that I actually learned something from this Irish-American guy called Riley, but I really have. He's not just a boss, he's really a, a great friend on the job and a supporter to all of us. I've enjoyed working with him very much. He's a trustworthy, honest, and competent leader full of integrity. A leader who leads from his heart and his soul. What really stands out is his use of poetry to really help us retain our humanity. And now, Lake Isle of Innisfree by William Butler Yeats. It's about the transition to a more peaceful time. I will arise and go now and go to Innisfree. And a small cabin built there of clay and wattles made. Nine bean rows I will have there, and a hive for the honeybees. And live alone in the bee loud glade. And I shall have some peace there, for peace comes dropping slow. Dropping from the veils of the morning to where the cricket sings. There midnight's all a glimmer and noon a purple glow. An evening full of the linnet's wings. I will arise and go now always night and day. I hear lake water lapping with low sounds by the shore. While I stand on the roadway or on the pavement's gray, I hear it in the deep heart's core. President Riley, on behalf of all of the chancellors, thank you for reminding us to listen to our deep heart's core. <laughs>